Welcome to Home TV. I'm Tracy Preeze, and here's what's happening in Northwestern Ontario today. The Ontario government is providing $340,000 to Forest Helicopters Inc. to build a new 8,000 square foot hangar in Kenora. The investment is coming through the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation and will ultimately help the company expand, purchase new aircrafts, and hire new staff. Forest Helicopters provide services to multiple sectors and local government across the north, including diamond drilling, power line maintenance, fire suppression, wildlife services, airborne geophysics, and precision aerial construction. The funding will be used towards capital construction, purchase new equipment, and create three jobs. April 1st marks the beginning of controlled fire season in Kenora. From now until October 31st, residents will require a burning permit in order to have a fire that is larger than one meter in diameter and half a meter high. During the season, burning will not be allowed during the day, but will be allowed in the evening two hours before sunset until two hours after sunrise. A permit will not be required for campfires for the purpose of cooking food, on a grill or a barbecue, personal warmth or entertainment. Campfires must be contained by rocks, metal or cement and must be monitored at all times. Always consider the weather and wind conditions before burning and make sure you have enough water and tools to contain the fire to put it out. Burning permits can be applied for at City Hall by calling 807-467-2000 and it costs $15 to purchase a permit. The Northwestern Health Unit is reporting that there are currently 240 active COVID-19 cases in the region, with 186 in Sioux Lookout, 24 in Kenora, 11 in Dryden, 8 in Fort Francis and Red Lake, 2 in Rainy River and 1 in Atacokan. The current 7-day average positivity rate is 17.8%. And that's your Home TV News Update for this hour. I'm Tracy Preeze. Have a great weekend.